learners welcome to the wonderful world of english language classroom learners we have been doing lot of speaking activities today also we will do a speaking activity we will do a role play and role play on an interesting topic and of course very problematic topic for you learners as well as teachers and parents today's role play is on use of mobile phone by learners like you arvind uses lot of time on mobile phone he spends his 2 3 hours on mobile phone and he plays video games and sends messages on um, social media uh, like whatsapp or messaging and of course he is a very good child otherwise now his father is worried his mother is also worried so they feel that he should stop completely playing using mobile phone and he should concentrate on his studies so that is the issue that is the problem we are going to do a speaking activity based on that contentious issue problematic issue so there are five people here five roles the first is arvin the boy who feels that he should be let to play allowed to play on or uh, use mobile spend time on mobile phone and his father who is vehemently strictly against it and his mother who feels that he should he may be allowed for some time but not the 5 6 hours 3 4 hours and his teacher who is very concerned about him feels that he should reduce the time of uh, using mobile phone for uh, play and other things video games as a learner Arvind should be concentrating on his studies and for his health. This is the role. This is the situation. These are five roles. Learners, see each one of them is given a strip in which which explains their roles and the language they would be using. Some input language input is given. For example, uh, uh, the father, I am fed up with you, Arvind. I am fed up with. Then you learners will be supplementing these ideas. to complete the sentences the same way mother arvind uh, arvind sister also is there another character another role she she is supporting him to some extent maximum extent this is the role play learners let's get ready to watch the roles being played by learners like you are arvind i'm fed up with you you spend a whole day on smartphone i think Your studies are deteriorating due to this. Papa, I'm fine. I don't uh, spend uh, most time of my uh, to play a uh, mobile game and videos. I uh, it play only for uh, half an hour. But my friends play uh, more than I do. No, no, you are wrong. Their parents are stricter than us. They go out. and play outdoor games like cricket football etc do you play any outdoor game seriously yes papa i spend 1 hour for playing football i don't believe you arvind is a fine boy he does well in studies also he should spend less time on mobile phone yes you are right you should reduce your gaming time i think if you do so you will change papa you are whining too much I don't think playing video games is such a bad thing at all. He only plays after his studies. And other thing um outdoor games too. But Arvin, Papa is also right. You should reduce using mobile. You should spend more time talking to mummy, papa and me. My dear uh, sister, I don't uh, think that uh, I spend most of my time for playing uh, mobile games and recent research says video game and mobile helps in uh, solving problems creativity and hmm. i believed it great scientist you are maybe some mobile or software company has done this to make people like you believe it but it is nothing and just a joke let us ask your teacher only sir what do you think is he right fine i think this is a problem but not a serious one arvind you should listen to your parents Uh, nobody tells you not to play a uh, video game but you should play for a specific time arvin i hope you will at least listen to your teacher 
Arvind, your parents are right. You should also focus on your studies. Why don't you read books, uh, novels or stories? I don't think you guys read much. But you should read much. I think that every one of you needs some counselling. Let me start with Arvind and Sheena. Arvind, I think you should control your game time as it will benefit you. You should also focus on your studies and also go out and play for a longer time. Uh, I think he will understand. I don't think that Arvind would change. But sir, I believe you. Arvind will change. Papa, be optimistic. We know what we are doing. Our time is really different from yours. You think you can treat us as you were treated when you were young? Don't think we don't know anything. I don't think these children would change. They will do as they want. All of you listen to me. Don't talk to each other like this. Arvind, I think you should reduce your game time as it will benefit you. Okay, sir. I will reduce my mobile time. Let, Let us thank teacher for coming and counselling us. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Learners, how was the role play on use of mobile phones? Some of you must have felt that you should support Arvind. Some of you may have felt that um, his parents were fine, they were right. And the teacher, counsellor and his sister, uh, Sheila, I think, Sheila. So many, many, many such things must have occurred in your mind. But the purpose is to make you generate language in you and speak. So can you now do an activity as a kind of follow up to this watching a role play, this role play, an extrapolative activity, try to recreate the dialogue each one spoke, not necessarily the same words and sentences they spoke. You may write Arvind, father, mother, sister, teacher and the counsellor. So some, and it may be on your own also, try to create this dialogue on role play and try to enact it with your friends. Learners, thank you very much for patiently watching and learning some language, learning how to speak. Uh, we will meet you with some other episode on role play or any other skill of language. Uh, till then, take care.